if you hold on to bitterness if you have the right to hold on to bitterness satan has the right to hold you in bondage if you say i have the right to be bitter i have the right to be mad of what they've done of what you know they didn't do i have a right you do so is satan if you have a right to be bitter satan has a right to keep you in bondage you may have a right you may have a reason but you must lay that right down so that you can strip the devil from his right to keep you in bondage somebody say amen you gotta lay the right down when we get betrayed when we get rejected at a young age or maybe we have an absence of the father or mother in our life or maybe we get abused or if you have in that household where your parents want you to really be like your neighbor's kid and they think that by comparing you every single day is going to somehow motivate you to become better they don't mean to compare you they just want to motivate you because nothing else motivates you and you live with that comparison and after a while you know it begins to hurt you begins to you're not good enough and it begins to affect your life and when you begin to develop that that offense when you begin to develop that bitterness when you begin to allow that pain to come and settle in and you hold on to that instead of letting it go and saying God this hurts God this is not fair God what did I do to deserve this but God I refuse to be mad I refuse to hold on to that I refuse to hold on to that pain I refuse to punish somebody I refuse to live my life trying to make them pay I refuse to live my life that I surrender it to you something happens Satan at that moment the hold that he had on you the oil begins to flow on you and you become slicky he can hold you you begin to move out and he begins to hold you and you snap out because he doesn't have a grip he can't have a grip because the oil of the Holy Spirit is being released on you the moment you release people the moment you release people from the prison that they have caused put themselves into because of what they've done to you or left undone to you the Holy Spirit releases oil and Satan can no longer hold you see the problem many times that happens is that Satan holds us with sins bondages alcohol pornography cheating lying it could be a self-destructive behavior it could be a reckless behavior it could be other bondages that satan holds us with but the power for him is actually what we hold on to and so what we do is we keep praying satan get your hands off of me and god is saying get your hands off of stuff that belongs to him unforgiveness is drinking a rat poison hoping for a rat to die from it a rat will not die when you drink that poison the person who drinks it dies when you and I take the poison of the devil and then hope for it not to kill us but to kill someone else it empowers Satan even more 